Meanwhile, tonight at 11 o'clock, an IU employee has lost his job and is now behind bars after police say he raped a woman off campus last week. Our Emily Longnecker tells us what the alleged victim told police and where the 22-year-old suspect worked on campus. Andrea, a university spokesperson told us that the suspect was a temporary employee here at the recreational center since his arrest, though the spokesperson says that suspect has been fired and barred from campus. Police say it all started here Friday night at Brothers downtown. The alleged victim, an IU student, was at the bar with friends. According to investigators, the woman doesn't remember leaving the bar, but woke up in this off-campus apartment where she told police she was bound with duct tape and raped. The woman told police this man, 22-year-old Gregory Danielson, eventually untied her and fell asleep, and that's when she escaped. Police say the two knew each other but did not have a relationship. You never know. It could just happen to anyone. Students who work out at the rec center where Danielson was employed say it makes them uneasy to know they could have run into him too. Know that he was here and, like, possibly looking at us, like, it's just scary to know. I like knowing that, like, he's been here and maybe he's seen me, and it's just, like, it's just a scary thought. Police say when they questioned Danielson, he initially denied any sexual activity. But when detectives found duct tape next to the bed and torn duct tape in the trash, Danielson told investigators it was consensual. Police arrested the 22-year-old on suspicion of rape. And Danielson has an initial hearing tomorrow at 1.30. Andrea? Emily, thank you.